what's going on everybody josh pocock here and in today's video we are going to be looking at an ai researcher agent this is a free open source alternative to perplexity it is called gpt researcher say goodbye to hours of research say hello to gpt researcher i'm going to show you how you can self-host it let's dive right into it All right, guys, so some of you guys may have seen some of my other videos, and I've done videos on a lot of different perplexity alternatives. So I've done videos on uh, Open Perplex. I've done videos on Local Search. I've done videos on Morphic. I've done videos on LLM Answer Engine. I've done videos on Perplexica. We've covered a lot of different perplexity alternatives, and I'll leave links to these videos as well down below. So if you are looking for open source perplexity alternatives, you can check some of those out. But in today's video, we're going to be looking at GPT Researcher. and here is their website. Uh, you can check it out. All links will be linked down below. They claim to be the number one open source AI research agent. Elevate your application capabilities with the leading autonomous specialized research agent built for multi-agent frameworks, delivering real-time accurate and factual results at speed. Over 1 million downloads and hundreds of contributions worldwide. The support for all LLMs, use any search engine, research local documents, generate long reports, export to any format, multi-agent support. And one of the reasons I decided to do a video on this tool is because if you look at the example here, you'll see that it's querying the GPT researcher agent and it's pulling a bunch of different sources and deploying a few different agents. And it looks like it's doing some pretty extensive research. And then it's going to provide the output in very quickly. That's what kind of stood out to me with this tool, opposed from some of the other open source researching uh, perplexity alternatives we covered on the here this seems more of like a researching powerhouse that's the angle that they're going for all right so gpt researcher is an autonomous agent designed for comprehensive online research on a variety of tasks the agent can produce detailed factual and unbiased research reports with customization options for focusing on relevant resources and outlines so it was inspired by the recent plan and solve and rag papers which i'll leave links to down below so you can check these out if you'd like gpt researcher addresses issues of misinformation speed determinism and reliability offering a more stable performance and increased speed through paralyzed agent work opposed to synchronous operations so the architecture the main idea is to run planner and execution agents whereas the planner generates questions to research and the execution agent seeks the most related information based on each generated research question so similar to perplexity finally the planner agent filters and aggregates all related information and creates a research report a few features generates research outlines resources and lessons reports with local documents and web sources and generate long and detailed research reports over 2k words aggregates over 20 web sources per research to form objective and factual conclusions includes both lightweight html css js and production ready nextjs plus tailwind ux ui okay so let's get into the actual install of this so there's a couple different ways to install you could use docker you could use pip we're just going to do the uh, basic install here. So you're going to need Python 3.11 or later. So you can go here and download it if needed. And then you're going to download the project and navigate to its directory. So you're going to git clone the repo right here and then CD into GPT researcher. So I actually already did that. So once you do this, you can set up your environment variables. So you can either do code dot to open it up in VS code like so. And you'll see um, there will be a dot env dot example and you can just either um, change the name or copy it then change the name and then put your uh, open ai api key here and you're also going to need a tavily api key okay or you could just export it to uh, run these commands to export it to your environment variables in your os either way works now tavily search api is a search engine specifically optimized for llms and rag aimed at efficient quick and persistent search results now it says here the default llm is gpt for open ai but you can use any llama or any model pretty much such as claude olama gemini mistral you can visit the llm documentation right here i'll leave a link to the docs down below and same thing for the search retriever the default is tavily but you can use things like DuckDuckGo, Google, Bing, Search API, Serper, SearchX, Archive even, right? So pretty cool stuff. Um, you can visit the Retriever documentation right here. 
Um, Tavoli is good. I believe they give you a bunch, uh, a decent amount of free credits to start off. So you can pretty much use it for free if you want to test it out, or if you want to try one of the other ones, you can do so. Okay, once you do, once you do that, you're gonna want to uh, install the requirements. So for me, I did so in a virtual environment. So I just set up a virtual environment right here. You can do Python dash M and then V E N V, and then I just named it my E N V, and then I just activated it right here, which is this script if you're on Windows. If you need help searching, setting up a virtual environment, just ask ChatGPT. You could use this um, this way right here. You could also use Conda, of course. And then once you do that, you're just going to run pip install r requirements.txt to install all the different requirements right here. And then once that's done, you're going to run this command: python -m uvi corn main and then colon app dash dash reload right here. This is going to start the fast API and it's going to start the agent on localhost port 8000. So now I'm on localhost 8000 and you can see here we got it set up. All right, so I could go ahead and ask it a query right here. So I'm going to ask it uh, to research about Elon Musk's new robots launched in October 2024, which was launched yesterday. Um, and then what type of report would you like, to, uh, like me to generate? So we have different options here. We could do summary, which is short and fast, um, two minutes and then detailed, which is in depth and longer five minutes and then research report. So just for, you know, to test this out, to start, we can do short and fast, and then we can change the tone. So we could do informative, providing clear and comprehensive information on topic, persuasive. We could have a bunch of different options here which is pretty nice that it gives you all these different options a lot of the other open source perplexity tools don't give you options like this so this is pretty useful are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock no more wasted time on training no more frustration with performance and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers introducing stride agents ai powered appointment setters that work 24 7 never get tired and book appointments while you sleep Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. And then what sources would you like me to research from? So you can use the web. Um, you can also add documents, so please make sure to add the doc path and the environment variable pointing to the documents folder. So this is pretty cool as well. That you could actually add your own documents and set up like your own rag. So you could have your own documents and also do the web. So you could do the, just the web, which is kind of like a perplexity search. You could do just your documents, which is pretty much like somewhat of a rag type search. Um, and then, or you could do a hybrid approach. So, well, you could probably, uh, get some pretty interesting results. If you maybe were doing a hybrid approach, you give it some basic context within your documents, some personal, uh, stuff that is custom to whatever you're researching on, whether it's something related to school or a coding project or your business. And then you also are asking it stuff that it would, uh, want to search on the web and you could probably get some pretty custom stuff there. So and then you just click on research. So we're just going to do the web for now. If I click research, we can see thinking about research questions to ask and starting the research task and then using the technology agent right here. Okay, it's saying it's going to conduct the research. Now it's conducting different research right here. All right, getting different sources, getting relevant information. Okay, now it's actually building out the research report here. So we can see Elon Musk's new robots launched in October. Robo van, Optimus humanoid robots, challenges and skepticism, conclusion, references. So we can see all the references here. Now, cool thing is, too, we can copy the clipboard in a markdown. We can download as markdown, or we can download as PDF or docs, which is pretty cool. All right, so now we can do a different one here, such as OpenAI's new AI agent framework swarm. And I'll probably do some videos on this, too, and in, in very soon. Um, cause this is pretty interesting. If you don't know about that, they just dropped that and pretty, it's open source framework for AI agents and AI swarms. So, um, we're going to do a detailed in-depth and longer, um, report this time and all the 
uh, other stuff is going to be the same. We're just going to research now. Okay, so we can see it's generating different queries here, searching different sources. All right, getting subtopics here, writing introduction, potential applications, future prospects and developments. All right, so when you do the long one, as you'll see right here, it can actually get pretty long, which is kind of cool. Um, but it's also like going to use more tokens. So, and like I said, I'll leave the docs down below because you can do, you know, customize this in different ways. You can set it up with Docker. You can customize with Langchang and vector stores. You can change the LLM provider. You can use Olama, run everything locally, change the retrievers, multi-step agent frameworks, a bunch of different stuff. So I think this is a pretty cool project. They have over 14,000 stars on GitHub. So um, pretty interesting, pretty cool. All in all, I think it has its strengths and weaknesses, just like all the other open source perplexity alternatives. Do I think it beats perplexity? Mm, I mean, I'd probably prefer perplexity over this, but I think this is definitely, it has its own use case and it kind of like that powerhouse researcher. And it's great because it's open source too. You can self-host it, you can change the different models. Um, other than that, I think it is really good in terms of that. But when it comes to doing the research, it actually does a pretty good job. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you're new to the channel, we upload videos every single day on AI, automation, business growth, marketing, sales, etc. So if you like that type of content, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the daily uploads. Got a couple cool videos coming shortly, guys, that I've been working on. So stay tuned for that. Should be in the next couple days or so. And then if you haven't already joined the free community, strikecommunity.com, our free Facebook group, free Discord channel, link for that will be in the description down below. Let me know if you guys have tried GPT Researcher down below, or if you've tried some of the other open source perplexity alternatives like Perplexica, LLM Search, all the other different ones I mentioned. And let me know which one is your favorite, or do you just prefer perplexity? And then also too, guys, if you run a business and you have leads and you need AI appointment setters booking appointments for you on autopilot, then check out strideagents.com. I'll leave a link down below. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.